Olá pessoal! Let's see what will happen to me in the future. Huh? Are you curious? Let's see. Você viajará pelo mundo. What? I will travel around the world. Você viajará pelo mundo. <laughs> Great! Wanna join me? <laughs> Welcome back to Plain Portuguese, where you learn how to speak like Brazilian and how to talk about the future. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and catch up on the videos you have missed. Wow, I'll travel around the world. <gasps> I need to start packing now. <laughs> Well, there are two ways to talk about the future in Brazilian Portuguese. One that is more informal and colloquial that you have already learned, in which there is a combination of the verb ir, conjugated in the present tense, plus the main verb in the infinitive. Link to that class is in the description box below. And second, the second way to talk about the, fu the future, sorry, which is a little bit more formal, is the one you will learn today. You will learn how to conjugate uh, the verbs in the future tense and the very interesting use of the verb será in the tip of the day. So, join me! The future tense is used to talk about both certain and probable future events. AR, ER and IR ending verbs share the same conjugation. Ah, do I see a smile? Yes, I do. I do see a big smile. Well, let's see first a verb ending in AR, viajar. So this is how viajar conjugates in the future tense. Don't drop any letter, don't drop any letter, simply add the following endings to the verb. Eu viajarei, repita, eu viajarei, você, ele, ela viajará, nós viajaremos, Vocês, eles, elas viajarão. So, the stress is in the last syllable. Viajarão. Yes? Vocês, eles e elas viajarão. Now, let's see a verb ending in ir. Ver, to see. Eu verei. Você, ele, ela verá. Nós veremos, vocês, eles, elas, verão, verão. Hmm. Now, ending in IR, easy, add the same endings to it. So, the verb ir, to go. Eu irei, você, ele, ela, irá. Nós iremos, vocês, eles, elas, irão. Uh -huh. Muito bem, muito bem. As I said, AR, ER and IR ending verbs share the same conjugation. But be careful though with verbs ending in ZER, ZER. ZER. Now you should drop the final ZER. Then, add an R and the corresponding endings. So, dizer, drop the final Z, R, G, add an R, G, and then the corresponding endings. Eu direi, você, ele, ela, dirá, ah, I heard you, <laughs> nós diremos, 
Vocês, eles, elas, dirão. Uhum, não é de se trazer. Eu trarei. Uhum. Você, ele, ela, trará. Nós traremos. Vocês, eles, elas, trarão. E fazer? Do the same. Eu farei. Você, ele, ela, fará. Nós faremos. Vocês, eles, elas. Louder. Farão. <risos> I'm proud of you guys. Well, now help me fill in the blanks with the giving verbs in the future tense. Yes, what will happen to them? So, next month. No mês que vem. No mês que vem. What will happen to her? Using viajar. Ela viajará a trabalho. Ela viajará a trabalho. Mm -hmm. Who will she visit? Ela visitará alguns clientes. Ela visitará alguns clientes. Uh -huh. Will she have meetings? Will she have workshops? What will, what will she have? Ela terá muitas reuniões. Ela terá muitas reuniões. Ah, will she give presentations? Uh -huh. Ela fará algumas apresentações. Ela fará algumas apresentações. Nice. Now let's see. What will happen to our friend next year? To another friend next year? No ano que vem. No ano que vem, he'll finish college. Ele terminará a, fa a faculdade. Uh -huh. Ele terminará a faculdade. Will he start work? Uh -huh. Ele Começará a trabalhar. Ele começará a trabalhar. And he'll make some money. Ele terá um salário. Hmm, ele terá um salário. And I suggest he opens a bank account. Ah, ah he will do that. Ele Abrirá uma conta no banco. <risos> Ele abrirá uma conta no banco. Ah, muito bem, muito bem. Well, and finally, in two years. Daqui a dois anos. Daqui a dois anos. Ah, what will they sell? Eles venderão seu carro. Eles venderão, venderão seu carro. Hmm. And what will they buy? A house. Eles comprarão uma casa. See, intonation is important here. Otherwise, it may sound like um, the verb is in the past. Com Compraram, eles comprarão, eles comprarão uma casa. Uhum. Oh, the family will grow. <risos> eles terão um bebê. Eles terão um bebê. Tchau! 
Today's tip is about an interesting use of será. Well, this is the verb ser in the future tense. Eu serei, você, ele, ela será, nós seremos, vocês, eles, elas serão. But we'll be seeing the interesting use of será, only será. Well, besides talking about certain and probable events, we use será to express uncertainty. Doubt, you know? Let's imagine the following. The sky is clear, not a single cloud in the sky, and a friend looks up to the sky and tells you, there's a storm coming. Uh, mm -hmm, there's a storm coming. I'm not sure about it. Será? Hmm. Será? I'm not sure. Yeah? Another example. Um, supposing, oh, I heard Brazil will host the next World Cup. Ah, uh, huh. Será? Is it true? I don't think so. Será? Hmm. Será? Yes, so whenever you want to express this uncertainty or doubt, you can say, será? Not so sure, será. <laughs> well, thank you for watching another lesson. It's always a pleasure to have you here. Don't forget to interact with me with questions, comments, suggestions. I love to read them love to answer them and you know that see you next time até a próxima tchau